Hi, welcome to today's The Pause Cinema Interactive Media Tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the Letrosonic Kits, its basic functions, operations, and that's it. So come join me. All right, today we have, for today's tutorial, we have the Electrosonic Kits. We have the, the newer Electrosonic Kit, the UCR 411 Alpha with the digital face. And then we have the older version, the UCR 100, which is a smaller but functional unit of the Electrosonic Kit. With both Electrosonic Kits, the 411 and the 100, the transmitters are identical. They have the audio level adjustment here, mic input here, on and off switch, frequency adjustment, and the battery housing here, which is very simple to open. Push and turn, and it releases the battery close it and there you have the transmitter. Now here's where the electrosonic kits gets a little tricky in nature. You have the UCR 411 Alpha with its digital face and then you have the UCR 100 with its regular face. Now the difference is with the UCR 411 Alpha you have two attachments for antennas that attach here and here. And to adjust the audio levels, you adjust here, and then the menu button is here. And you have a digital display. The UCR100, audio level here. You have an input for a connection to a sound mixer here with an XLR input here. Also, to adjust the frequency is also on the side here. Now mind you, both still have the battery door at the bottom where we push and turn to access the battery. This is the UCR 100. Now the UCR 411 Alpha has an XLR input here and also you have the AC-DC power here and also it's battery operated push, it's a little tricky, push and turn to access the batteries here. And that's the difference between the two receivers. Now with the Electrosonic UCR 411 receiver, there's a specific way to adjust the frequency using its digital face here. And how to do that, you would first turn the receiver on, push the menu button three times. One, two, three. And you'll see a, an exit and then a setup. And you just push the top button with the arrow of setup, push the button to scroll through the different menu options of setting up the receiver. And once it's set up, you go back to exit, and then you're all set and good to go. Now with the electrosonic receiver for the UCR 100, to adjust the frequencies, you simply turn the receiver on, turn it to the side, and you adjust the frequencies with the screwdriver tool here and here until your desired frequency is reached, and then you're good to go. And once you're done, just turn it off. 
Now, in order to hook a microphone up to the transmitter, you would want to first, you can use, you have two options. You have the Tram TR50 or the Countryman B6. Basically, you take the microphone, it's female end, insert it into the five pin hole here until you have a, a good connection. Turn it on, adjust the levels, check with the sound man to make sure you're receiving good levels and you're good to go. The same function is this is uh, identical for the UCR 411 as well as the UCR 100. Now once your electrosonic 411 alpha and 100 frequencies are set, antennas are hooked, everything is good to go, the mic is connected. The only way to record sound is to plug these in using XLRs into a sound mixer or an H4N recorder in order to receive sound. You cannot record sound into these devices. These are used in conjunction with sound recorders and sound mixers.